All right, so a little bit of information you need to know before we go into section two. And that's going to be that we're going to be multiplying bases. So when we multiply bases, the rule is if you're multiplying the same base, you just add the exponents. Here's the reason why we do that. If we've got three to the fourth, that tells us that we've got three times three times three times three. Then we're going to be multiplying that by three squared, which is just three times three. So how many times is three being multiplied against itself? One, two, three, four, five, and six. So that tells us that it's going to be three to the sixth. So again, that rule is if you're multiplying the same base, just add the exponents. So three to the fourth times three squared becomes three to the four plus two, which is then three to the sixth. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at problems number 1a and 1b. In 1a, you've got 12 to the fourth times 12 to the third, and we're being asked to write this as a single base with one exponent. So what we'll do is we'll take, since we know that our bases are the same, and we're multiplying them, then we know that the rules add the exponents. So we get 12 to the fourth plus three, and so four plus three is seven, so the answer is 12 to the seventh. You're done. Over here, negative five to the negative second, and then negative five times negative five to the seventh. So again, we have the same base, both being negative fives, and so that tells us that we're gonna add the exponents. So we're gonna get negative five to the negative two plus seven. So what's negative two plus seven? Or seven minus two, it's five. So we get negative five to the fifth. Uh, the instructions were just to write these as a single base with one exponent. So you don't have to actually solve these. You're gonna leave these as they are. In problems 2a and 2b, we're being asked to go ahead and simplify the expression that we're given. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through the entire thought process. You will be able to start skipping steps, but that's not a good idea until you get this down and really have this figured out. So the first thing I'm gonna do with problem number 2a is I'm gonna rearrange everything so that everything that's alike is sitting next to each other. So I'm gonna take this four and this nine and I'm gonna put them next to each other. Then I'm gonna take the z to the fifth and the z to the negative 12 and put them next to each other. Once I've got that accomplished, what this allows me to see is what am I going to do next? What, are, what is the next step going to be? So four and nine, real, real simple. Just multiply those together, so you're gonna get 36. With z to the fifth and z to the negative 12, what I see is that I've got the same base. And since I'm multiplying like bases, that means I'm gonna uh, add the exponents. So this is gonna become z, or 36, z to the fifth plus negative 12. And so five plus negative 12 is the same thing as saying negative 12 plus five, or five minus 12, so negative seven. So this becomes 36 z to the negative seventh. I can't just leave that negative exponent hanging there. I've gotta do something with it. And what that tells me to do is to take that base of z and drop it down into the denominator. So this becomes 36 over z. Remember that once we've, once we've dropped our base down, the negative has done its job, it goes away, and so we're just left with z to the seventh. So the solution is 36 over z to the seventh. Over here on problem number 2b, I'm gonna uh, work the same uh, process here. I'm gonna take everything that's alike, and I'm gonna put it next to each other, that way I can see what I've got to work with. So I'm gonna take the two, nine, and the three, and put them all next to each other. Then I'm gonna take this a, this a squared, and then finally the b to the fourth, and write them out in alphabetical order. Now, once I've done this, again, I can start multiplying anything that's alike or working with the bases that are alike. So two times nine is 18, times three is 54. So I get 54 here. Then I've got a, and this is a to the first, times a squared. So a to the first times a squared is a to the one plus two, and then just bring down the b to the fourth because there's nothing there to combine it with. So now I'm one step away from having this problem done, 54, 1 plus 2 is 3, so 54a cubed b to the 4th, and then you're done.